Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Raja from IIT Madras. So in this video, I am going to talk about uh, summer research internship program as you can see. So it is from IIT Gandhinagar. So it is a research as well as internship opportunity which you can utilize in this summer. And uh, there are very good projects in this. So if you are interested, I would suggest you please do apply. So without wasting any of your precious time, let's see what are some of the silent features and how you can apply uh, with a very good chance of selection. So let's see. So this is a summer research internship program. So let me tell you in the beginning, it is more oriented towards the research. So you will find a very, uh, very uh, lot of research component in this program, like poster session and research proposal, etc. So let's see some of the guidelines of this program. So first thing, let's see the eligibility. So it is open to the bachelor as well as master degree. But uh, in bachelor, it is not specifically written which year, but somewhere I have seen it is written all three years, first year, second year, third year can apply, but they will give preference to mostly pre-final year, that is third year, because that is the ideal time because at the third year, the students are uh, quite clear about their branch. For example, if you are doing electrical engineering, then in the third year, we will uh, uh, learn some of the core electrical concepts. So by the third year, you will be clear what is your area of interest. So that is the ideal time. So, and in the final, fourth year, they do not allow, allow because that is the final year and the students are busy in placement and other higher opportunities. And in similarly, in the master degree, if you are in the first year, you can apply in the second year you have to do your own project so uh, they do not allow second year students of master and the duration is at least eight week and it need to be in the summer program summer of uh, break of IIT Gandhinagar so the last date is also mentioned it is the 5th March 2024 and requirements are you need to apply a to a particular projects so there are list of projects I will tell you so you need to select one of the, you can apply to multiple projects, but I will suggest to please, please do apply in the mostly two projects or at the maximum three projects. More than three is not required. So select the project according to you. But uh, I have seen that most of the projects are oriented towards a science background. So you will find a less engineering projects. So, but still, if you are interested, you can apply. So they do allow the interdisciplinary kind of thing. So even if you are not from the particular background, you can apply into the other um, background project. But for that, you need to have some prior experience. You need to show how you are prepared to do project in that area. So you need to make a presentation and PPT and report at the end of your tenure. And very important thing, so you will get a stipend also. So stipend will be 2000 weekly so in IT and the Nagar they give you a stipend weekly and this will be paid after the completion of the internship and there's a hostel accommodation also but that will be paid so this is and if you see the flyer so this is the flyer and all information is summarized here so LGBT is uh, bachelor's and master's duration is eight week and it is clearly mentioned from May to July 15 and this application started from Feb 10 and it will end on 5th March. Stipend is 2000 per week. And there's an additional stipend if you do some exceptional work. So it, we will get additional amount 50,000. And now see how you can apply. So you need to go to this website. So you need to apply portal. So for that, let's go to FAQ also. So in FAQ, important thing is like uh, you can apply if you want to apply in more than project. You need to apply separately for each project. Multiple application are permitted if you are applying to different projects. And it is open to the UG students over all year. So children first, second, third year of the UG students are encouraged to apply and new students in their first year of UG can also. And the 
selection criteria yeah you will get a certificate also here and selection criteria you can see here the academic background performance research interest alignment with the proposed project and prior experience so the first thing they will see your cgp cgp is very important especially in this kind of research internship so if you have cgp more than eight so that will be more than enough and performance so if you have consistent performance so if you have consistent cgp more than eight that will be better a research interest so if your research interest is aligning with that proposed project then it is well and good and prior experience so if you have done research internship in that particular area that will be counted as plus point and then statement of purpose so what you need to write in statement of purpose so in statement of purpose or sop you need to basically describe your own story in the research kind of thing so you need to explain why you are motivated to do the project research project in that particular field only how you align yourself how you align your area with that particular project so you need to convince the selector that you are uh, actually interested in that project and you're full you are ready to give your hundred percent to that research project if you are able to convince someone with only the words that you can consider your statement of purpose uh, 100% so for that you need to consider your you need to self introspect you need to understand your own self what is your background what is your academic background what is your research intent what is your further goal and which area excites you so on the basis of that you need to frame a good story and then after framing that story you need to write that in a good statement of purpose so that needs to not that need not to be a very big uh, paragraph divide the sop into the small small paragraph and do not write much but write sufficient enough so that uh, you can convince the selected that yes this person is actually ready and this person can give is or her hundred percent in this research area so that is considered a good SOP and you can can start on the project before arriving as well and the you will get opportunity to do poster presentation as well as the conference or general uh, publication also so that's that is the thing and so you can apply from here so for that select click on the prospective interns so for that you need not to be you not need to create any star account so this is the list of the projects available so if you see the most of the projects are oriented towards the um towards science background so you will see some of the projects related to the uh, chemistry, biology, mathematics, uh, biotech, and lot of interdisciplinary projects. And there are a lot of good projects as well. So select any of the projects. So there's a project description written here. So you can read. There's a faculty name is also written here. Plus, but uh, do not mail the faculty about the project. Uh, but I will suggest you instead of that you can search more about the project in by searching on the Google uh, Understand the project requirement what you are need what you need to do in the project. So after understanding uh, uh, Make a good uh, Presentation so if you want to if you really want to increase your selection chances, let me tell you one uh, One idea or suggestion so like for example you need to apply in this particular project so uh, in the sop write what uh, whatever whatever is your academic background or how you are pointed toward this so but i will also suggest you uh, make a good uh, research like uh, submit the research proposal right in the sop only so you will uh, uh, prepare a research proposal document 
uh, and then upload in the Google Drive and submit the link in this SOP or you can also prepare a video and explain you how well you understand about this project and how what is your aspiration so uh, you need to differentiate yourself from others so you can differentiate in this manner so this is some of the idea you can so that you can increase your chances so but very important thing is that you need to understand about the project requirement clearly and if you are able to understand the project requirement then it will be very easy so there are a lot of projects so if i search about the deep learning so you can see there are a lot of deep learning prediction of intermediate and human profile using rn and ai enabled so generative deep learning for computer vision so you can search on the basis of your and then you need to click on apply and then you will need to just select about the faculty name and you will get the corresponding project id corresponding project title and you will get the intern id you need to apply your name and then mobile nationality email id college address year of a statement purpose like here you can just paste the link also so you can uh, prepare a good uh, uh, sop through this so that's all so if you have any question more question um, please ask me in the comment section i will be very happy to answer your queries for then goodbye take care villain let's go